Hello everyone, in today's video we have three amazing fragrances to check out. I'm talking about some scents of wood. These ones are going to be perfect for the fall and winter season. And these are also my fragrances of the month, as you can tell right here. We do have the Cypress and Oak, Orange and Chestnut, and Vevitor and Oak. So first of all, or Vetiver rather, not Vevitor, but uh, Vetiver and Oak. I think that's how to pronounce it, I'm not even actually sure. But let's go ahead and jump into that fragrance first of all. And that one is going to be in our super sleek gray tube. Really nice tube as well. This is the actual atomizer case in which the actual tube is held for us to spray our fragrance. Sorry if you guys hear my son in the background right now. My wife just now laid him down for a nap and he's being a little reluctant. But let's go ahead and go over the actual scent profile and then we will go over our actual sniff test a little bit later as well. Now as far as this vetiver and oak, each ingredient was specifically chosen to highlight irresistible woody notes of this incredible vetiver for life LMR from Haiti. The modern aromas are encouraged by the melange of Persian lime oil and pink pepper, creating a duality of fresh aromatic effect and woodiness so you know that just sounds amazing right there and we do have pink pepper we have coriander cypress vetiver and amber as well so very manly uh very um woody very just nice now since we got that amazing description out of the way let's go ahead and smell it and see if the actual scent is as amazing as that description was oh my goodness Yes, I really like this one right here. I think I have a lot of that coriander coming through uh, right at the jump. And even that pink pepper. The vetiver is kind of in the middle for me. I'm, I'm starting, I'm smelling that as time goes on. Now I have a Columbia shirt right here that I'm going to be wearing here soon. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a little bit of a spritz. All right. That one had a good spritz on it rub it just a little bit i like to dab it a little bit but uh, i've seen a lot of other fragrance reviewers say not to rub it or not to dab it so i'd probably listen to them oh i just not blew over my signs look at that guys look my dogs are barking everything's going frantic during a perfectly filmed video so that's just how it is can't structure a video for nothing guys Let's go ahead and move on to our next fragrance though. All right, now since we went over the vetiver and oak, let's go over the orange and chestnut, which is a harmonious clash between the timeless vitality of orange tree and its exuberant intimacy and a modern amber stretching to the extreme of modernity. This fragrance includes bergamot, cedarwood, orange flower, jasmine, and amber. So that's super cool as well. I feel like the descriptions on all of these are fantastic. So I love actually reading those. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and do our up close and personal sniff test first and foremost. Oh my goodness. Wow. The vetiver and oak is nice, but the orange and chestnut is kicking its teeth in. Oh my God, that is an amazing fragrance perfect i'm gonna be wearing this all the time i want a candle made of that i want a candle i want uh air freshener so when i go take a duke i can actually have my bathroom smell like orange and chestnuts i'm sorry guys i'm starting to let some of my actual personality bleed into my channel so if you guys are feeling disturbed press the dislike button i'm very sorry now let's go ahead and move on to our last and final scent which is exactly what last means but this is going to be our cypress in oak and this is in the super nice cobalt blue uh atomizer case and i really like this one first and foremost we're going to actually give this one the sniff test first just because i'm already jumping the gun about to pull it out so hmm hmm okay the cypress in oak it's a little strange to me. I'm glad I waited until the end because most of you guys probably didn't make it to this point. And this uh, this fragrance right here just really ain't kicking as much. It is nice though, but it's not uh, it's not in as nice as compares 
compared to the other two that are on the table as well. I would rather rock the vetiver and oak or the orange and chestnut is definitely the clear winner of today in my opinion now since I've smelled the third fragrance. But we will still go over it as we should. Bringing to life the French coastline where cypress trees are splashed by the salty sea air and the warmth of the sun evokes natural feelings of comfort. This fragrance creates a feeling of coastline paradise. A variety of high quality cedar wood enveloped days spent in the summer sand. The last mouth-watering hint of authentic vanilla bean leaves and everlasting impact of utter happiness on the skin. <laughs> I love it. That is so dramatic. It's so dramatic. It feels like I'm watching a soap opera as I'm reading it. Like I, I'm holding my heart. I'm holding my chest near and dear to me. I'm, I'm talking with my eyes almost shut but to where I can still see barely enough to read. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and this does include cypress oil, fir, balsam, cedar wood, amber, and oak mass, which I don't know if that means oak mass or oak moss. I think that might be moss. It looks like moss, but it does say mass, oak mass. I'm not sure exactly what that is, so I'm going to go ahead and say that that is a typo, and we are looking at uh, oak moss as an ingredient inside of that. And I can actually see that because that cypress and oak, that's probably what I'm smelling that I'm not liking is the oak moss because it smells like moss or, or like a hint of moldy or something like that. And I'm thinking I'm getting that from the moss itself. So the moss, you know what I mean? It smells like old mildewed clothes or something automatically. That one's not going to be nearly as appealing in my, in my opinion, but if I was out in the middle of the woods and I was doing like some camping or something, relaxing out in the woods, I would definitely enjoy the smell like the oak moss or campfire smoke and stuff like that as well. So to each his own and it depends on where exactly you are located and what you are doing at the time that you're wearing the fragrance that it makes it able to be used. You know what I mean? So definitely feel like all these can be used at different times. But they're mainly for the fall and winter time, in my opinion. Orange and chestnut, I think I could rock in the springtime and even in the fall time, but it would have to be in the woods setting or something like that. I couldn't just wear this to the nightclub or anything like that, which I don't go to anyway. I've never actually uh, really been to many nightclubs or anything like that. Don't hang out, do nothing like that. So I don't have to worry. But just let me know what you all think down in the comment section below about any of these fragrances have you tried any other scents of wood fragrances that are not listed here and of course as you can tell i got all three of these from scentbird and i got these through my subscription which is like 14 dollars 95 a month if you do just one fragrance but i, I believe i pay 11.37 per tube for three fragrances but i do not get the atomizer cases i do have to purchase those separately but I will be leaving links down in the description below if you guys would like to check out Scentbird for a free fragrance for you guys and a free fragrance for me when you guys sign up for your first month of Scentbird. So that would be greatly appreciated. And I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Real Life Unboxing for more products with real life applications. Smash that notification bell to stay up to date on our newest uploads. And as always, keep it real.